sometimes our situation change and we feel that life is at a halt. Every change in our path has a purpose. It might be to grow us, to teach us, or to prepare us for something greater. Sometimes it's to put us in a position to help others or to fulfill a calling we never imagined. When God changes your path, it is not an accident. Many people have a plan or a dream they intend to pursue, but often life takes them in a different direction. For instance, someone might start their journey um, with the aspiration of becoming a doctor. Along the way, they might discover a passion for technology. I have discovered that the most impact on in shifting career are immigrants. Many immigrants come to other countries with high hopes and aspirations. And that journey may change. Often it is to the best of that person's abilities. And other times it, it's to their disappointment. I've heard many stories of immigrants. One in particular um, who came to, to study. And um, life didn't turn out as it should have. She got married first and had kids, decided to um, go to college. Although her plans was for a university and uh, started working. So for this individual, life changed drastically because marriage wasn't in her planning and having children at that age wasn't in her planning, but it happened. And sometimes when these things happen, we have to learn to adapt. We have to learn to cope with the situation. And many of us, and not good at um, handling change and some changes come suddenly it's after a while you may look back and think that this is not what you wanted change could be challenging but it also leads to personal development and resilience is there a specific change you're dealing with or thinking about let me know in the comment section down below when changes occur i see it as god saying no when God says no, it's often seen as a form of divine guidance or wisdom, stirring us away from paths that might not be in our best interest. Even if we, even if we don't understand it at that time, this concept can be interpreted through various lenses. It could be um, protection, redirection, timing, growth, no can be a way to protect us from harm or unforeseen consequences. Now, when it comes to career, that could be looked at differently because God could be that redirecting us to the career path that we should have taken. Have you heard of anyone leaving a job or they get fired and they said, oh my God, I should have left that job a long time ago. You know, so that redirection, it might be a way to guide us through a better path or opportunity that aligns more with our purpose or potential. Now, the timing may not be the right timing. You might be at a point at a time where you need that money more than anything. And God says, no, this might not be a permanent rejection, but rather a delay indicating that the timing isn't right yet. Now, when we change our path, our path is changed. There could be denials and um, we might feel like um, we're not growing. This is not, this is a denial for opportunities of personal growth. And we tend to build resilience to that change. But we sometimes have to embrace change, but you're not able to see where this change is taking you. So that could be very stressful for many. Now, many people find comfort in trusting that the higher power, we all want what's best for us. And sometimes God may see it differently. When God says no, 
what do you do? We may not see it coming. It may happen suddenly. There are changes in our lives that could take place suddenly. But when we look back at what happened, we sometimes see it as a blessing. It may be the change that allows us to pursue what we truly wanted to, to do in life. Um, some of us may want to travel and we may not be able to travel. Certain circumstances may change that and we find the opportunity to do those things. Your plan may have been to, to leave abroad, but your circumstances at that time didn't permit it. But due to certain changes, you find yourself abroad. Um, there are lots of immigrants that I have spoken to whose situation changed in that manner and they're very pleased with the change, but it's not what they planned for their life. When life suddenly changes, it can be a challenging and disorienting experience. Whether it's due to a personal event, like a new job, moving to a new place, a relationship change, it affects us in various ways. So for me, it was a shift in life, a shift in the, what I planned for myself, a shift in my goals. But, but I embraced that change and made the best out of it. And um, to give myself the direction and motivation that I needed, I had to prioritize some of my activities. Taking care of my health was the most important and became a priority. Um, you don't realize it until you find yourself missing many of the things that you're used to. Um, change affects you. You may not realize it until um, you find yourself in a state whereby you're missing your hometown or your country. I had to um, keep some of my daily routines and adapt to your routines. Adaptability is key. So, you know, you have to be open to new ways of thinking and new ways of doing things. You talk to friends. For me, it was important to make new friends. And of course, I had to make new friends. And it was important to uh, my, pro my career. I didn't know where I was heading, but I had to slow down and plan ahead and realize what I truly wanted for myself. I was given some guidelines and options on what I could do. That didn't matter. It had to be what I wanted. So I had to create something that worked for me and uh, followed that path until I achieved what I wanted. And I do believe that it is never too late to try anything new and up to, and this is why I have this YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is to enhance, encourage, and inspire. Through my travel vlogs and uh, community events, I make the time outside of my full-time job, my career that I love so much, to create those videos, which is a passion. It's a hobby. A hobby that I enjoy so much and I hope I have inspired you so when God says no embrace the change thank you for watching